Hello and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on the motion tracking function of Adobe Premiere Elements 8. When I did a tutorial on motion tracking and keyframing, I had a question about how to do the motion tracking within Adobe Premiere 8. So let's go ahead and do it. So as you saw at the beginning of the video, there were a few clips that I put together. So I'm just going to use those again, but I'm going to show you how to do it this time. I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it in there. Okay, so now that we have, let's go ahead and do this one too while I'm here. All right, so now that I have my clips in here, what I need to do is get it to a place where I want to start doing the motion tracking. Once I get it where I want it, I'll go ahead and click on the motion tracking mode. And I'll Click on the picture here. Now what happens when you click on the picture, if it tends to bring the video down, you can see this black edge here. Make sure that you bring it back up. If you don't, then your picture is not going to line up accurately. All right. So now I'm going to click it again, and now you'll see the options pop up here. So now that I see what I want to track, I'm going to go ahead and take out the ones I don't want to use. So I click on it and it turns blue. I right click it and I delete it. Click on it again and it'll turn blue. I'll right click it and I'll delete it. So this one is fine. I'm okay with this one. So as it comes into frame here, I see an area that I like. So I want to go to the edit tab. And I want to pick some clip art that I'm going to go ahead and place into this. Now you can do whatever you want. You could do video, you could do a picture, whatever you want to put in there, you can do. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do some clip art. So I'm gonna get some text that I'm gonna put in. So I'm gonna drag it over here. Now it's telling me to add the text, so I'll go ahead and add some text in. And now I can see the piece of clip art here. So I'm just going to move it to a location that I think will work for me. It's about right there. Now when I hit play, it'll tell me that it's applying the keyframes and it'll show you a little um, preview of where the keyframes are. Now, if I don't like where it is or how it looks, then all I need to do is go back to the beginning of where it comes in click on the motion tracker again unfortunately we gotta go through all of this again but it's how it works right. so then I'll click on it again and it'll bring it up and I didn't like how it was a little bit over to his side, so I'm going to move it back this way a little bit to the right. Click play again. It should apply the keyframes again. It'll give me a preview of how it's going to look. And so now I'm going to go ahead and play it real time here. See how it looks. That one's okay. What I want to do is get a little bit higher.
So I think I got into a pretty nice place. Now I'm going to just play it in real time and see what it looks like. Great. So now in the second clip, what I want to do is I put glasses on this young gentleman here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into motion tracking mode again. And from the original one, it already, once again, it had some uh, extra things on here. But this one came out pretty good. It came out right there where I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the little glasses here. And I'll use these this time. Now, I want to make sure they're the right size for him. So I'll go ahead and put them up a little bit. And I also want to get them to be the same orientation as his head. So I need to be able to turn them sideways. So I get to the one where the arrow is kind of curved. And that's the one that turns the picture and picture object around. So now I have it in there where I want it. And I'm going to press play and it should do the key framing for me. And now I get a preview of that. All done. Now this one usually makes it a little bit longer for some reason. So I'll go ahead and split the clip and delete what I don't need off the end. And now if I play back, you can see the motion tracking of the clip art and of the glass on the little boy's head. So that's it. It's pretty easy to do. All you need to do is make sure that you do things in the right order. You click on the motion tracking, you click on the picture, make sure you move it back into frame where it should be because if you don't, the pictures will, picture, picture object or the video, or whatever you put in there, is going to show up um, out of line. Once you get that done, you have the option of deleting some of the extra motion tracking things in there. If you don't, um, sometimes they get a little mixed up and it'll start tracking one thing over the other, especially if some of the boxes overlap one another. So just make sure that you get it down to one motion tracking thing that you're doing or however many you want. Make sure they don't overlap one another. Make sure that you hit play so that the it applies the keyframes to the motion tracking effect and you're done. All right. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.